<clears throat> it's the Troy Murphy Show here on 2 SR FM 99.7. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be either the best thing since sliced bread or... The worst thing since we allowed women to run our country. Yes, this one's pretty out there, ladies and gentlemen. And all those who prefer their women to be in the kitchen and not running our country. <laughs> and that, my cut off the crust living friends, is mobile phones on airplanes. Yep. News came out this week that our Virgin flights in the UK are soon going to allow people to turn off flight mode and use their phones during the flight, which means it'll soon follow suit down under, you know, here in Australia. Mm. Now, I bet there will be divided response over this decision. There are there those who are going to love this newfound freedom in flight, and there will be those who hate the idea. So, here on the Troy Murphy Show, we're going to go through the pros and the cons of using a mobile phone on the aeroplane. Let's do it. Let's start with the pros. Well, for starters, you can take a phone call on a plane, which is great! You can chat to your friends, call ahead if the plane is running late or early to advise people of your whereabouts. Business people on business trips will be able to do business in the air! <laughs> I'm um, sure if you can make calls, you can also access the internet. Perfect! You can check emails, jump on the Facebook, and the Twitter, as well as stream this show live as you fly around the world. That's a definite plus plus in my mind. You could also send text messages. It'd be very, very cool if the airplane companies took advantage of this and allowed you to send text messages to the cabin crew. You could send text messages like, Hey dollface, I'm here in seat F3, could you bring me another beer? Thanks, love. No idea why I went all totally bogan sexist pig with that example. Could have been worse, I could have suggested a mile high text message, but I didn't. I don't... didn't go there. So get your mind out of the gutter, people. Yeah, But could be interesting. Now to the cons. And there's really only one con. One negative for people being able to use their mobile phone on the plane. And that's the pain and suffering all people go through when on public transport when someone is on a phone call. And that's the pain of having to listen to another person's conversation. Imagine it, you've just had your in-flight meal, you turn down your light, you recline in your chair, wrap yourself up in one of those, you know, airline blankets, put your eye mask on and prepare yourself for a little bit of sleep. And then it happens. The person next to you's phone goes off, and BAM! They're on it, chatting out loud, annoying the bajickens out of you, having a mindless conversation about this and that and everything in between. Ah! It would kill me, ladies and gentlemen. KILL ME! Uh, <laughs> there may have been a few pros for having phone phone calls and phones being allowed to use on, on airplanes, but I think that one con far outweighs any pro possible in this situation. So, ladies and gentlemen, and all my phone calling friends in between, there is no way in hell I'm looking forward to phone calls on flights. If the airline bosses are listening, because I know they are, all the important people listen to the Troy Murphy Show, take heed! No phone calls on flights. That's it. Rant over. <laughs>